All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Dead Ace Sun, and I have been busy. I've been busy. Like, I got this because I don't know. I completed some. I I completed like the. I finished. How, how do I put it? I took care of all the problems in Gerudo Town, and I ended up getting this, which lowers, or not lowers, but it gives me cold resistance, like practically indefinitely. And because I completed all the problems, I got the yeah, I got the Thunder Helm, <clears throat> which of course I had to talk to Riju about it. She had to make me do all this stuff. I did it. And now here it is. Um, a lot of a lot of things happened, and this is from when I completed you know all the things in the Korok Forest. I'm hoping that I have that part uploaded where I actually like make it there, because that place is that place is awesome. Like really, the Korok Forest is insane. I've been, but yeah, as you can tell, I've been really busy. And the Master Sword, who, uh, who'd have thought that it'd be in the Korok Forest? I have been so busy. I've been getting the Korok Seeds, expanding my inventory as much as I can. I, I have room for like three more shields here. And even the materials, I got like four sets of materials here. And two sets of food, like a decent amount of stuff. It's, it's awesome. And key items, uh, nothing new here. Also, I want to point out real quick, Urbosa's Fury is amazing. If you're taking on a boss that you just, like, absolutely cannot uh, beat fast enough, like, if you're just impatient or you're about to, you know, lose really badly, Urbosa's Fury is such a lifesaver because that takes up, like, a third, if not half, of their HP. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm up here on this tower. Uh, I found a decent amount of shrines. My hearts are, like, way up there. I think I have uh, 12, if I'm counting right, 11 or 12. And then of course the yellow heart's there because I died at one point and Mipha's Grace saved me. <clears throat> so yeah, the next Divine Beast is over there, but before I do that, I'm going to, let's see, where, where is it? I think it's over here, yeah. I found some more memories and I had only recently found out that I can play them back. So let's see here. Mipha's Touch, we've already seen that. I'm gonna try not to replay the ones that I just haven't done yet. Uh, I'll play these in order, and for any new ones I find, of course, I'll play those for a chance I get, but yeah, let's do it. Is this? One day we'll make our way to go on city. Then we need some assassins from that divine beast so that we can manage it as easily as possible. We figured out how to get it to move. However, it was apparent that we still had much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. The divine beast. So much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Dami, they're our best hope. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if the TV's turned down and I, I forgot to check, but if it is, then of course it'll be pretty obvious. It'll be lower volume than usual, but man, these memories just keep me so involved with the story. I mean, it's, it's a typical story. They have to fight Ganon because he's back and he's destroyed everything, but I don't know what it is about this game, but this is just amazing. Laser Vega, I think I did that already. Uh, a Premonition. Yeah, I think this is the one that I didn't show off yet. Or like one of the, yeah, this is definitely the one. too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible.
can't explain what it is about Zelda in this game, but like, God, I mean, the last time I actually, you know, took a real good look at Zelda, for some of you that know what I mean, I don't need to explain that, but it's like, last time I took a real good look at her was um, in Hyrule Warriors, and I haven't... I haven't played that in like a minute, but I, I can't remember the look she had then. It's just amazing. Let's see now. Uh, this one. I think this is the one that I found, but <clears throat> I couldn't catch that one. So, yeah. Be strong to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way it will know how you feel here. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. You look at the one around it with the alarm hat down now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should help him with all of the role of you. I thought, maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works, and he wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Funny to visit out, you know? I don't even remember this entire memory. See that mountain? That mountain is... Oh yeah! Okay, it's coming back to me now. It's a healing spell that I used to hear from. The name is the Queen of Ghosts of the Hood. It says that no one is allowed into the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place atop the mountain. I prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power. Neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that it will be. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. Now, I don't know how age works in the land of Hyrule, but from what I gathered just from that, the first time I saw 17 is your, basically, your initiation into being an actual adult, or at least maybe for the, the females of the land of Hyrule, I don't know, but, <clears throat> yeah, she's, she's 117, I think? If we're being technical here, she's 117, so she's, eh. Oh, but this one right here. Okay, let me go back real quick. I think, uh, hmm. Uh, resolving grief. Huh? Okay, so this one I showed off then. Yeah, that, that one I showed off. So this last one here. Oof. This last one. It's not the last, last one, but man, this one's crazy gets intense real quick and I didn't know that she'd end up dressed like that god damn well who keep us in suspense how can we think go up there on the mountain And it begins. And I 
seriously pray that I can take candy because that just I keep forgetting how big he is, and he's not even like physically there yet. And I'm really hoping that I don't find the absolute last memory too soon because, let's see, there's three more at the end here. And I know two of them are going to be when I take on the Divine Beast and, you know, when I beat them and stuff. But, man, this, this game is just amazing with its story and the memories just add something to it. Also, I, again, I don't know what it is about this game, this game Zelda, but it's just, it's just hard not to take your eyes off her. <laughs> 